Okay. Mm -hmm. Does that sound? Yeah. No music here. Record, record of reflective writing. Upon returning to Monster, you encounter a light novelist. Following her script, you embark on a wondrous journey of reading and reverie. Oh, reading. Uh, next to the knights. Uh, uh, there's just a short time for this event. Uh, let's see. Hang on, is this? I'm alive. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, it just wasn't updating the Twitch. Okay. Uh -uh. All right. Mm. What's that? Mm. Here. Okay. So. Yeah, I thought this was a fast event, but maybe I'll have a bunch of each like that. Oh, Soka. Do we know her? Author Yai Publishing House, probably. I have a feeling. After everything, I finally made it to the place where the story of those two legends began. We? Seeing how much I've given to be here. Surely fear is my upon me too. It won't be long now before I'll meet them once more. Ah, so we know her. What's the that person rambling on about? Judging from how she's dressed, she doesn't seem to be from Mostat. Do you think she's from Inazuma? Ah, you're here, and even sooner than expected. Time to time for a cheer to celebrate our reunion. Twin stars of brilliant valor. It's been too long, old friend. Probably, but wait, who are you again? You look so familiar, like every NPC. Is it really you, Soka? I don't remember. Uh, yes, you may have forgotten, but Soka's a writer we met during the Fungi Tournament. Uh, okay, that's a bit vague, but I, I guess that's okay. She's been helping us in Hanya take care of our fungi buddies. Ah, okay, so we probably met her twice already. Yeah. Uh, but weren't you previously helping Hanya prepare for the next tournament? How come you're here? You're in Mostad all by yourself. And all those books in front of you. You're not here to recommend novels to passers by, are you? Well, I suppose the main reason is I'm being hunted down by AI Publishing House's ed editors. Hunted down? Don't worry, they're not literally going to kill me. They're just constantly pressing me to submit my work by whatever means necessary. I guess, if you think about it, they are doing it for my own good. Uh, as a once popular light novelist, I had to keep producing new content non-stop, both to satisfy our readers for racial appetites and to maintain my popularity. But the speed at which our readers get through it all seems to know no limits. If I didn't keep up, it wouldn't be long before I found myself completely snowed under by new requests. But I couldn't bring myself to rush through the story of my fungi buddies just to get it finished. After all, it takes time to come up with a good idea and then gradually refine it. If possible, I like to finish writing up the whole story, then go through the revision process before finally publishing it in its entirety. The last thing I want is to agree to serialize and then have to rush to meet the deadlines for each issue. So for now, I decided to start working on new main piece with a simpler, more manageable story instead. This way, at least the readers won't forget me. That sounds exhausting. Guess you've got no choice. Exhausting. 
would have thought it and to think Paimon used to reckon like novelists had it easy. A bit of sightseeing here, a bit of field research there, and poof, they write their novel in a fit of inspiration. The more starts rolling in, and it's time to start living the good life. In reality, only the most naturally gifted writers work like that. For the rest of us, simply planning out and finding the inspiration for the next daily chapter is already enough to drive you to the edge of exhaustion. Most people can only write so much before they start getting writer's block, and in all honesty, I'm no different. Why else would I have come all this way to Mondstadt with nothing more to go on than an old folk legend? So this folk legend is the key? I guess it involves this book on the table. This book, there are plenty. Which one is he referring to? What's the folk legend? Spot on. My, and my plan is to use pictures and broad broadcasting device to turn my novel into an audiovisual three-dimensional reading experience. Uh, a visual novel. Uh, the title of this all-new avant-garde work of mine is Labyrinth of Legend, A Hero's Journey. A hero of extraordinary ability unknowingly enters a treacherous labyrinth divided by an evil sorcerer, where they must navigate their way past a whole series of complex mechanisms and deadly traps before finally unearthing the secrets that lie deep within. But I haven't figured out how it's all going to go yet. Hey, you've certainly got Paimon's attention. I'll have to think carefully about the core contraction, contradictions in rhythm of the story. With serial novels, the key is to keep the readers on the edge of their seat, so the various puzzles that the hero encounters in the labyrinth will need to be the main story driver. I just so happened to hear talk of a domain most that filled with all kinds of mysterious mechanisms, so I rushed over here as soon as I could, found it, and started my investigation. You are always so spontaneous, Soka, so did you find me an inspiration for puzzles in there? There was certainly no shortage of inspiration, but I haven't managed to think of any ingenious solutions to the puzzles yet, without which the plot still feels pretty weak. All it took was a regular trap to give me a complete battering, and now the clothes Miss Honey and Bob me are all ruined. Still, I came out of with just enough intel to draft a few important sections. When it comes down to it, I'm no hero, nor do I have any special abilities, so it's no wonder that I can't come up with any specific solutions to the puzzles. But for you too, the famous twin star of Brilliant Valor, that won't be a problem at all. Well, this is a surprise, but it's not like we have got like superpowers or anything. So, what made you think of us? Well, there's no way I could hire a whole team of talented individuals to come get a material for me. As such, I need an intermediary who is closely connected to all sorts of powerful individuals to help me explore the domain. Uh, good, so probably no reading. Uh, and you, Inus, are the most experienced, well-connected and popular person in all of Tivat that I can think of. No, I probably am. Simply follow the script and I've provided and immerse yourself in a world of text, film and your own imagination. And once you're in the zone, I'm sure you'll be able to think of suitable heroes and work out how they overcome the perils of the labyrinth based on whether, whatever the situation before you calls for. You mean me? I do seem like the right person, don't I? Imagining what happens uh, based on the text and image in the novel. We've never tried anything like this before, it's almost like we're becoming authors too. Yeah, you are all different people with no game to face the domain, full of all kinds of mechanisms, 
there'd certainly be a high chance of lots of wacky stuff happening. Stuff the ordinary people wouldn't even think of. Well, and that's why you'll be perfect. This way we can work together to finish designing my new book. On my end, I'll be sure to write a best-selling light novel. Can you assure that? And when that happens, I'll credit you as a co-writer. And we'll split the proceeds. You can always trust all friends to be generous. Alright then, let's give it all we got. Okay, the challenge contains both collection and evasion phases. Okay, those coins. Uh, and you have to evade periodic incoming barrages from the mechanisms while collecting labyrinth coins during the allotted time. Collect labyrinth coins to gain points that you enter risk in risk level. The higher the risk level, the greater the volume of the incoming fire and the more labyrinth coins will, they will appear. And no labyrinth coins are collected for some time, risk energy will rapidly decrease. Mm. The mechanisms fire several types of ammo, normal bullets, homing rounds, and laser webs. <laughs> I will eventually. But I have to upgrade my PC first. Uh, you will lose HP after getting hit by normal bullets uh, and laser. If your HP gets around, you will use that with your risk level. And again, temporary invisibility. Okay, so it's not game over. Defeat wicked warlocks to earn labyrinth coins. Larger wicked warlocks have higher HP. The elemental skills of some characters can quickly defeat them. Is your adventure techniques well to decrease the threat of the bullet barrage and score faster up to three times a single challenge? Uh, after using the gain all the following effects at the same time transform on normal bullets uh, in coins. Good, ah, so that may be good to get coins, not just to avoid damage. Your character's moving speed will be increased, their movement will be consumed by stamina and be invisible. Your character gains auto attack aura, which will automatically attack all weak armlocks. Okay, that's how we are of beautiful creatures. Rules. So, how to get on? Linux? The script has a lot of background info, so you must have come up with quite a few ideas for the plot, yes? I don't know, I haven't read anything yet. Before I do that, can we talk about the planning? Uh, more talk. Uh, seems like my script has brought out your inner creator. As I mentioned, my plan is to use pictures in a broadcasting device to turn my new work into a lively three-dimensional reading experience. But as for how I'll do that, I'm still brushing it up on my knowledge and trying to make the plan as logical and pragmatic as possible. Shouldn't she have someone from Fontaine helping her with that? After all, your imagination is quite immense. Most readers are far less imaginative. So I need to give them more details to work with. However, our number one priority is to find a way to reduce the costs. If this novel costs the same as 50 regular ones, sales are going to suffer and it will all have been for nothing. Pictures should be easy to get our hands on, just like illustrators were. The broadcasting device, however, is another matter. If we just use imported Fontanian technology, each book went up with a six-figure price tag. Huh. Uh, well, I'm, I don't know, I didn't get the game yet. Uh, I'll have to give it some more thoughts. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have ideas. That's great. Once you've started your ideas, please write down the key points. I'll come back and refer to them when I get onto embellishing the story later on. Given how well we understand one another, are we that close? You don't need to go into too much detail. I'm sure you get the gist. It was the last. 
Any news about Hanya? Oh yes, of course. Must be curious about how your fungi friends have been holding up too, right? Rest assured, the fact that I can even be here shows that both they are both they and the tournament preparations are all doing just fine. Hanya has already finished planning said tournament. Oh, so there should be another one soon. While sponsors have been secured, we just need to sort out all the staff and materials. Then we can gradually get the ball rolling with all the pre-tournament pre promotions. Most importantly, the timing of the event will be the key. We rather delay it than let the tournament's reputation slide. And we want to avoid letting our audience and contestants down at all costs. We might have to wait half a year or even a whole year before the right moment comes along. Ah. Anyway, we we'll take it step by step. In the meantime, Hany has finished with all her business affairs for now, so when you get a chance, come pay us in our fungi friends a visit at the campsite. Where is this campsite? Could we meet with them at any time? Uh, I don't think so. Where's the thing? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, but now I have to. Oh, good. I thought there would be still time locked. Ah, uh, so I have to use a different one. Uh, 600. First contact. Direct confrontation. Ah, use combat abilities to attack enemies as much as possible and collect. Okay, that's basically what the rules said. So let's see. I thought I would have to go to the domain. Oh, I got hit. Ah, uh, okay, there was time there that I think I really had to use that. Ah, uh, yeah, I thought I would have to choose the difficulty, but no, apparently it's based on how well I'm doing. Oh, but I can't get hit like, right after that. Okay, but I got what I need on it. Into the shadows. But it didn't really. Ah, it's D. I'm pressing the wrong button. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's a bit like that. But this is just, is just an event going on now. It's not always available and stuff like that. Oh, there's a cooldown still. Yeah, whatever. I got playing. No? Oh, I thought it was the score. But it was the Labyrinth Coins. Lordly Labyrinth Coins. Oh. Okay, I thought I was doing well. I wasn't. Ready. 
Okay, so this will be on those events that I'll... No, hang on, I got it. Oh, I thought there was a bronze. There was a platinum. Okay. Ah, oh, then I'm good. <laughs> okay. I thought I had to get 600 coins. Uh, her skill up uh, will be used. Yeah. Skyward! Scatter! Yeah. Skyward! Skyward! Scatter! Yeah. Skyward! Skyward! Damn, it's too much stuff. It's yeah. hard to Skyward. be sure yeah. how, how far things yeah. are from me. Yeah. Okay, but I already got the points that I needed. Good. Oh, in the end, I can't get hurt in the ah, a large one. I can't get hurt that won't really matter too much in the end. Okay, so that's a platino. Ah, gaps now. Oh, damn it. I just use her during that quest. Uh, she can teleport like a sheen, right? All right. No, oh, come on. 
No! Go up there! I don't really remember how to use her. That's not fair, I don't have the character and she isn't even available for trials now, so I don't really remember how to use her skill. Well, she doesn't go there. So this will probably be a good event. I probably spend more time talking to Soka than I actually than I will spend here. Okay, she I kinda remember. Go. Take it easy. Jump over that, can I? Can't. Yeah, but I got points I needed. Come on! Jumping, I didn't pay attention to the thumbnail. Hmm. I thought there would be platforms.
you keep coming, go up, you know. Okay, but I need to stay down for the point. Last one already. Oh, let me choose two characters. Uh, shouldn't I be able to see the any two uh, that I? I think he did well in her. Um, this is what happens here based on the characters I have. Oh no, this seems more like... I didn't pay attention if this one was 600 as well. That hurts! Wind strike! Wind strike! Well, okay, another place. Thanks. You will see some here as well. Okay. That was it. That was short. Well, but yeah, that was. Uh. Less time than usual for this event, anyway. Mm. Then you talk. How did you go? Of course, same thing. Finish the story. Uh, I'll 
I'll give you some fun. No problem, we got plenty of time, and no matter how many ideas you jot down, I remember all of them. Okay, I guess that was just it. Alright, how many days? Four days remain. I have some, no? Let's try to get a lot of chlorine. Yeah, now I got it. Good. And a gummy as well. I assume. Not that I care, but uh, he was fifteen percent. Okay. No chloride. Starfishes. Uh, yeah, the unicorn. So I have to hunt it down a few more times. Yeah. Uh, and weapon. Yeah, let me see what is good for her. HP, HP, and yeah, okay. Uh, she doesn't have a set here still, does she? Ah, okay, they don't usually. Let's just see what I have here. Uh, actually, I went here, but I didn't really check what uh, HP, crit, HP. Attack, shouldn't this be HP? Hmm, I think I could go to better. Electro damage, alright. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check some builds online. I haven't yet. Mm, yeah, I don't know which sword would be good for her, but... Hmm, this looks nice. There's a good chance this one. Uh, the mental skill attack will be increased. I am bond of life. Mm. Okay, this is probably for her. Alright, let's see. And those are okay. Okay. Uh, affected by hydro or cryo. Okay, so let's keep. This one to Chichi and probably this one. All right, let's see. Sure. And this one. Hmm. Yeah, she's in that purple. Mm. No, the color is still a bit off. Hmm. Yeah, I think this one suits her. All right. Cool. I see the value in my oh. Uh, a delicious. But I'm gonna do another wish. Because I got one of those with me. Alright. But I okay, also cool. see the meaning in all the endeavors so, of the people of Fontaine. I'm off now. I believe I will continue to take pride in fulfilling my duties. 